You were talking, Mike, about some of these assemblies look like they should fail when modeled, but they don't. The other thing that can happen is occupant behavior can make assemblies fail when they're supposed to work. You always have the wild card of what people are going to do who live in the house. This house has a reservoir cladding without a WRB board sheathing. When you insulate it, you're stopping the flow of energy that is drying this place out. The risk is that when the sun heats this reservoir wall absorbs water, it's going to drive it into the wall assembly uh, from the sun. Mike, what do you think we should do with houses like this? I think in the case of Ben's situation, that the cut and cobble would work. Um, I don't think in a small area of the wall, he's going to end up with a, causing a, a tremendous problem. But I do think that adding an extra sheet of rigid foam over the entire inside of the, the wall surface before he puts a drywall on would help break the thermal bridging and make the room as warm as possible, being as it's a bathroom. 